Hello everyone. So in this particular course, we'll be looking at how to create a rotating rig. Now you may have heard the term before, uh, rotating rig, sometimes also called a 360 rig or a 180 rig. Now the reason why we call it as such is that we are creating a puppet that can actually be rotated as if it were a 3D object. Now, sometimes they'll be rotating as a 180 degree rig. Sometimes they'll be rotating as a 360 and doing the entire full turn. Um, and of course, this that we see here is not a 3D object. This is all made out of 2D drawings as we can see over here. These are all flat drawings that have been broken down as if it were a regular rig but we're adding a bit of a twist to it. And um, we are, of course, using a lot of the techniques that we've seen before, uh, which we'll cover throughout the entire tutorial, but um, we are also using additional things to really move those pieces along with a lot of envelope deformers that we'll be using to reshape those pieces to accommodate the different views that we have um, in our character rotation. In these first few topics, we'll mostly be covering uh, how exactly to choose whether or not we want to use a 360 character because it is a different method um, of, of course, rigging, a different method of animating. So we'll be covering a lot of that in these first few topics and whether or not you should go for a 360 rig, which is always a question that you should be asking yourself. So be looking forward to it. It's going to be a whole lot of fun and we'll be covering those in just a few.